Hello, this is Samantha at RecipeThis.com and today I would like to talk to you about the Instant Pot accessories that I have, especially the must-have accessories. Um, we've earned an Instant Pot um, since the November of 2016 and we love using it for quick family meals. Uh, but there's certain accessories that you need for you to enable Instant Pot cooking to be easy and hassle-free. So let me run through them with you. Before I go into further detail about the Instant Pot accessories that we use here at RecipeThis.com, I am going to talk about the ones that I'm not mentioning today. I think these are the ones that have the common sense um, that it's up to personal choice whether or not you get them and not everybody will even want them. Um, one of these will be the ceiling ring that of course um, comes with the Instant Pot. Um, you get one with the Instant Pot. And there's a lot of debate that goes about, about how long a ceiling ring is going to last. Uh, I mean, I can't remember exactly on the maths, but I mean, we started off with a ceiling ring in 2016. And I remember having to replace one in the summer of 2018 while on holiday, travelling with it and having to get one delivered to a campsite because it had gone. Um, so, of course, you could have a backup on things like that. Um, just like you could also get um, an extra in a pot, for example, an extra one of these. I've never considered having a second one until now. Um, I've been using an instant pot for well over two years and it's when I've cooked a corn chowder in the instant pot and we've got leftovers just sat there in the instant pot waiting for dinner. I'll shove them in the fridge and think, right, we'll, eat, we'll reheat those for dinner tonight. And then Dominic will say, I want a side with it. And he's like, I want to use the Instant Pot, but it's got stuff in it. So it's nice to have a backup. And it's only now that I'm really considering getting one. Uh, and I've got one that I'm waiting for it to actually be shipped through to us um, in Portugal now. So I'm looking forward to having a, having a backup one. Um, another thing that I have is I have both the 6 and the 8, um, which some people might consider getting a second Instant Pot. Um, we have both because uh, we started off with the 6 and realised the 6 was too small for us. And now the 6 is good for if we need to do a side dish with dinner. Um, and then there's other accessories out there as well. Like, Can you believe it? You can get a bag to carry your Instant Pot in. Um, you can also get fancy writing put on your Instant Pot. To me, these just seem um, more like luxuries rather than essential Instant Pot accessories. Um, so that's my opinion on all those. And in a moment, I will run through with you our must-have Instant Pot accessories. So the first thing I should say is that we have um, the 6 litre or 6 quarters, you might know it, Instant Pot. We are also um, owners of the 8 uh, because as a family of 5, an 8 is a good size for us. Uh, but as most people have the 6, we demonstrate with the 6. So first of all, taking the lid off, um, you just have your basic pot at the bottom, um, a bit like uh, the base that you have with the crock pot. Uh, the first thing I recommend you doing and looking at is this, which is what comes with your actual Instant Pot. So you just balance it like this and many people know it's a trivet, some people know it as a steamer shelf and basically it's just your stepper upper for whenever you're using any of your accessories. The first accessory that we had that we used, uh, which please excuse the scruffiness because it is very old and past it, is this steamer basket. Um, as I recall, um, on a dark November day back in 2016, uh, we thought, right, we need to steam, we've got no steamer basket whatsoever. So we used this little one that originally um, came with our soup maker many, many years ago. And it was the perfect size for, on that particular day, steaming some broccoli and salmon. Uh, and if you wanted to try that yourself, um, you can search on recipethis.com uh, for instant pot broccoli or instant pot salmon and the both on there. Right, so you can use and start with something that you've already got or you can buy in. Um, all you have to remember is you want it to have the holes in so that it can actually uh, steam. 
and then uh, my next on my agenda which I think is personal choice because not everybody likes them and that is egg bites uh, you can buy a set like this um, so that you can make egg bites whenever you please um, egg bites if you've not heard of them if you haven't been to Starbucks um, is just like a frittata so just think flourless quiche and when I make them you literally mix your ingredients in a blender and then just pour them directly into here um, but the problem is with a lot of them that people use they don't have a non-stick coating so you have to add olive oil to the bottom and various other things and then you spend ages pushing them back out um, so it's best to get a good one the one we've got is the Kitchen Deluxe brand uh, which we'll be mentioning in more detail later and basically once you've filled them up you can place them in like that and they fit perfectly in the instant pot but it's best to use a lid because then as they cook you won't have any explosions or anything like that to worry about and look it just presses perfectly in place like that and then the great thing there is it doesn't matter if you're a little bit rough as you're putting it in because it's not going to spill out so there's that like i say it's one of those accessories that you get if you like egg bites or if you like quiche if you're never going to eat that kind of food, then don't bother with it. Alright, next on the agenda must be the most talked about thing in the Instant Pot Accessories universe. And that is a spring foam pan. This is the one we have at the moment. Um, and the most important thing to do is to get one that slots into the size of your Instant Pot. I'm putting this in here and it's a 7 inch, uh, 20 centimetres uh, one. Um, but um, the funny thing is I put it in my 8 litre and it looks tiny um, so base it on the size of the actual instant pot you have for example if you have one of the minis then this isn't going to fit um, the next step down um, is the 6 inch and look this is a lot more roomy in a normal uh, 6 instant pot and then you can use this whenever you make cakes and whatnot. Um, this is the cake pans that we use. You can use cake pans, spring foam pans. They do the exact same thing, so it doesn't matter which ones you use. Um, we have both, but we prefer a cake pan over the um, bottom of a spring foam pan. Another option, which again brings me back to the egg bites, um, which is if you're into uh, bunt cakes, get yourself a bunt cake pan. Uh, we've never had a bunt cake in our lives, so we're not going to go out and buy a bunt cake just for the sake of the instant pot. So there you have that. Um, and then, are you into freezer meals? Because freezer meals are absolutely fantastic for reheating from frozen in the instant pot. I'm also talking about food that's already cooked that you just want to heat up like you would with a microwave. It's perfect for this. What I do is I often cook a big um, corn chowder and I will make uh, quite a big portion, uh, fill some extra um, containers for the freezer and then reheat it in the Instant Pot. The same can be said for leftover stock, so if you wanted your own homemade uh, cream of chicken soup to use in recipes, you can do the same thing. And um, all it takes is you would just pour um, one cup of water into the bottom of your instant pot then add your freezer meal container like for example one like that uh, you would take the lid off and then place it in there and then cook it for zero minutes and then when it beeps it'll be defrosted and cooked occasionally I need to give it a quick stir round and uh, on the saute setting just to finish it off but most of the time zero minutes is enough however if you're doing a bigger portion um, two minutes is better for example i have that one and look it barely fits in the instant pot six um, but it's perfect for feeding a family of four for dinner because look at how much you can get in there you can then make a corn chowder and serve it with some um, some lovely homemade bread and then look, it comes off easily. I got these from Ikea, by the way. 
and it just fits in perfectly. Instant pot lid on, two minutes and you're done. And that is the main accessories that I use on a regular basis. One product that I've just got my hands on, I haven't tried it yet, um, is the famous um, egg holders. So basically, it's an egg trivet. You would balance um, your fresh eggs in the little gaps and it's the perfect way for cooking hard boiled eggs in the instant pot. If you um, search on recipethis.com, we have lots of um, boiled eggs recipes for you. For example, if you loved your boiled eggs and soldiers, you can do that. Um, it's just up to you. And this again came from uh, Kitchen Deluxe. And they also have a bigger one there, depending on how many eggs that you want it wants. Um, and you can also stack them on top of each other like that and do a, a massive amount of eggs, um, perfect for if you're doing um, some salads for the beach and such like. So those are the main accessories that I recommend for the Instant Pot. Um, we all have personal favourites, there's other things you want. Um, you could also dig a lot deeper into the options for the steamer. Um, but these are the things to get you started with the Instant Pot. So let's start with the steamer basket I already have. You know, you never know, you might have one that you can use. Uh, we, or our system, has been um, the Instant Pot Trivet, followed by our old uh, scruffy steamer basket that we got with um, an advanced soup maker that we bought back in 2014, but it still works and still does the trick, and we still use it from time to time whenever we're steaming broccoli. So there's that option, and remember with that you will need the steamer basket um, and the steamer shelf together. So away from that, let's get fancy, let's get something really awesome going on in here shall we? And all of these products I'm about to show you are all um, are made by the Kitchen Deluxe brand, uh, the number one best seller on uh, Amazon.com for Instant Pot Accessories. Um, but sadly, the only uh, sell in the United States, uh, if you're outside of the United States, these are going to work for you. Um, but I will have a look for some alternatives for you and mention it in the description. So, let's start with Kitchen Deluxes. They have um, a basic steamer basket that you can use, which I think is fantastic. You basically, you've got your little stilts at the bottom. You place it in there like that and what's great about this is that it it goes in and out um, so it can be based on whatever size um, instant pot you have so if you have the mini if you have the six like we're using today or if you have the eight you could also use it in any other brand of electric pressure cooker as well so basically what it does is you can just use your fingers and it widens as wide as you need it. So just imagine how much food you could fit in there on the six. But you can also pull it back a bit. So say uh, if you just have, the, you might have the mini, you might have it at that, or you might have it all the way out. And then uh, let's imagine that you've just steamed some of our instant pot broccoli uh, recipe. And you then want to take your food out, but it's hot and you can't pull it then, can you? You know, it'd drive you crazy. So it become a with a funky hook. So if I can hook it in right, you literally, you're out look. No burning yourself or anything. And you can just place it onto a chopping board so you don't burn your worktop. And you're done with it. And that's that one. And if you're going to buy a steamer for your Instant Pot, I would recommend that. But what if you were to be greedy? What if you wanted to cook your broccoli and your salmon at the same time? Or, as my husband would probably say, uh, meat and potatoes at the same time? Uh, then you can step it up a level. The same brand, Kitchen Deluxe, also have a two-tier one. So if you look here, you've got um, one at the top that's been hooked in and another one at the bottom. And look, it's still on stands. 
But the bad news about this product is it's too tall for the six litre. It has to be on the eight. It fits perfectly in hours. But for example, if you're using it in the six, look, that's just coming up a bit too uh, far up. But in the eight, it is perfect. So what you would do is you would put your food on the bottom layer and then you would open it up to put your food on the top layer. Um, what I recommend that you do is the food that you want flavouring the most, you put on the bottom layer. Um, and then you put, you could put food that the other person doesn't necessarily like on the top layer. And then you can fit it to size again, which is perfect for when you're cooking a lot of food or if you just want a uh, different food going in there. And then out we go. It's just as perfect as that. And as you can tell, it's, it's really sturdy as well. So it's great for cooking and steaming in the instant pot. And I'm sure we'll be getting a lot of use out of this. We've only opened it up today, but it's lovely to see it in action. And then next on the list, uh, we have a product that's become quite famous uh, among the Instant Pot crowd and that's because it's perfect for if you want to make meatloaf and mashed potato at the same time. You literally have uh, these little sections. So you could put potatoes in the bottom, meatloaf in the top and then it perfectly slots in. But to do it, what it has, I'll just show you is it has a bottom layer and what you can do is you can fasten it all up together so look if you look at it now i haven't locked it into place yet but it fits perfectly in uh, the six and obviously it'll be great for the eight as well and you can just pull your lid off to make sure your food's cooked i have heard from some people that don't bother locking it into place but it's easy enough to lock into place if you want to let me just show you so you whip this bit under here like that and then look you heard the click it's locked into place now everything's secure you can throw it all around if you wanted to and you know that when it's cooking under pressure your food's not splitting out everywhere and then you can just go the opposite way to get it out clearly I haven't used this before because it's shiny and bright and there you go it's all done so those are what i would recommend for if you want to steam in the instant pot uh, there is of course uh, lots of other tools out there and obviously you could get a set with the egg bites as well if you want to be steaming eggs as well but these are your ultimate go-to and i would say it depends on how many times are you going to cook two different things at once in the instant pot that should um say whether or not you're going to get um, a double or a single. I would recommend this one the most um, if your food is going to be food that's going to have leakages or be um, sticky food, for example making mashed potatoes. If you're just steaming some fish and some vegetables or chicken and some vegetables, I would recommend uh, the other version that I showed you. Or you could have all three and then rotate it depending on what you're cooking. It just depends on how much you plan on using the Instant Pot and getting the best value for money for you. So thanks for watching and ciao for now. For more recipes, reviews, ebooks and tutorials, please visit our food blog at recipethis.com. You can also find us on Pinterest at pinterest.com forward slash recipe this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be in the loop whenever we bring out new and exciting videos. And also, any links or products that we've used in any of these videos are mentioned. You'll be able to find all live links in the description of our videos.